today. My name is Nicole and we are here live doing our online seminar for home remodeling. We are with Kohler. They're going to show us some of their newest products. And I'd like to say thank you so much. We're actually here at the Bath and Kitchen Showplace in Miramar. They've invited us over because they have installed some of these new products. We wanted to try something new and be able to show you what the products look like, touch, feel, learn about the different specifications, learn about trends, learn about colors, all the stuff that you don't even know to ask. We're going to have the experts here to answer those questions for you today. So I'm going to start it off. We're live. It's always a little bit nerve wracking being live. We'll warm up. You'll get warmed up with us. Um, I've got Lindy Gonzalez here. She's actually our representative um, for the Bath and Kitchen Show Place. So before I move on to the rest of the team, the rest of the experts that I've got here, I would like to say, Lindy, tell me a little bit about the showroom here. Who do you service? What do you have? I know you've got a lot of products. Kohler is our main, for uh, main focus here. We do have other products, I know. But tell us a little bit about the history of this um, showroom. Sure, yeah. Welcome, everybody. Um, Hajosa, this is part of it's the distributor um, So they have been around since 1858. And we have a major partnership with like top vendors. So we're able to house them in here. We have a lot of it display. So you're able to come and feel, touch and pick and kind of do a whole consultation. So we invite you over. Perfect. And so they do offer services directly to the consumer. I can have any homeowner can walk in here, right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So we are, um, we just ask you, you know, we make an appointment and you have an hour session. So you're able to have a consultation, talk about your project. Um, more in depth about the design, the color that you want to do, maybe have your designer be involved, and then we send you a great quote. You know, we want your business, so this is a great way to come and look at maybe like some different options that we can start sending at us. Okay. Perfect. So, you know, a lot of folks, they know about the big box stores, but they don't know about some of these small privately owned companies, which the Bath and Kitchen Showplace is. Um, as well as Classic Home Improvements. They're one of our other sponsors. So I have Kelly Walla here. I'm going to drag her in. She's one of the gals that works with Classic Home Improvements. She's a kitchen and bath designer. And she's going to be here. She's actually being introduced to some of the products here for the very first time. So you kind of get to experience it through her eyes. The next person is going to be Janine. And I'm going to pass the floor over to her in just a few minutes before I do a couple of housekeeping items. You can chat with us live. This is being live streamed on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. Um, we will post it online so you can find it online um, on our website later on. If you'd like us to email it to you, go ahead and send an email to Nicole at myclassicteam.com and I'll send you over an edited version. You won't even have to watch all the clumsiness of a live feed. <laughs> um, if you want to communicate with anybody here, you have a question for one of our experts, whether it's the kitchen and bath, the bath and kitchen so, uh, show place, Kohler or classic home improvements, type in the chat. Uh, we have Cassandra in the back and she will feed us those questions so that we can get them answered for you. Um, I don't know what platform you're on. If you're on Facebook, yeah. like us. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. We're gonna be here every week through the rest of the year introducing you to small businesses in San Diego. They're all gonna be folks that you can go to. They're your resources. And we found them through the National Association of Remodeling. If you're not familiar with them, go check them out. It's narisd.org. And I'm pretty sure that Fred will throw that in the chat for us. We've got him in the background too. I am done talking. Let's get this over to Janine. Janine is going to introduce us to, I believe, um, Kohler and the floor is hers. I'm done. <laughs> well, thank you, Nicole, for that beautiful introduction and to the Bath and Kitchen Showplace for having us in your showroom today. So I'm Janine Trusty with Kohler and Kohler has been in business since 1873. So I think Hajoka actually has us beat there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we really pride ourselves on having new, bold, innovative products. So come along and we're going to show you some of those. You probably never think about your toilet. You just want it, it to work as you well and be beautiful. So you have to do that and again, Kohler, Kelly. Making high so this is our new air to clean, innovative toilet is what we do. Bidet. We think about toilets. Um, as you see, when she approached it, it opened for her. It's got That's heated great. seat and a lot of other really great features. Janine, does this um, come in other colors or is this, is this a rose gold? Yeah, so that's our new rose gold finish. You can also do it in a sunrise gold, which is just a true brass gold, okay. or in white if you don't want kind of that color accent piece. 
and Lendy's holding our new touchscreen remote and kind of playing with some of the features. You can have six preset user settings, everything's touchscreen, so you literally don't ever have to touch the toilet. And the cool thing about this is like, you know, when if you're having like a large family, you know, you're able to preset everybody in here. But the cool thing is that you never have to touch it. So it's kind of like a party in the bathroom. <laughs> so you're able to, you know, it's going to clean you front end, back end, wash you. And the coolest thing in Kohler is that they have the titanium <clears throat> wand. So that titanium wand is for cleaning sanitation. Really that wand it's right, right in the middle. So right over here, when you're using so it, it's going to come out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because it's titanium, it's great for sanitation. So okay. cleaning wipes is really good compared to like maybe a competitor that's toxic. So it's going to flush, flush. It's going to kind of do everything. And then you do need electrical on the side to do this. I was going to ask that because mm -hmm. I get asked that a lot. Um, so electrical is required. Yep. Okay. Yes, you will need one standard electrical outlet, and then really you're good to go. So uh, we're finding that bidet toilets and integrated intelligent toilets, people are wanting this new kind of clean feeling. Um, and so we have that and we have others to choose from as well. This is just one of our newest ones. Plus, I feel like real quick before we move on, this is like, this is a piece of artwork. Like, mm -hmm. I would never say that about a toilet, but <laughs> just looking at it from the side and here in the photo, it's, it's just beautiful. Yep. If a toilet could be beautiful, the yeah, air is yeah. one of them. So do you find, do you find to me that a lot of people are maybe looking for something very clean on this side, no more plumbing. Obviously this is intelligent toilet. Yeah. Baby. What do you think of that? Definitely. So you'll see that in the, the rest of these toilets here too. So something that we call either a skirted or concealed bowl, you'll see that on the Tresham one piece toilet here. Um, I know Kelly, you've asked me before, you know, kind of the difference between a one piece toilet or a two piece toilet. So this is one piece where that tank and bowl are literally one piece. And you can see on the sides, we've hidden or skirted that trapway. So it's really easy to clean. You'll also see that on this one here where the side is concealed and on the Persuade two-piece here. So I refer to this as a two-piece toilet where you have a tank and a bowl, two pieces. Um, but one piece, I'm sure, do you get requests for one-piece toilets from your clients? A lot. And I get more requests actually for the skirted toilet now yep. because they're just easy to clean. Um, yeah. People are really loving the skirted. And and you can get it in a two-piece or a one-piece, correct? Mm -hmm. Tresham comes in both. And I mean, the beauty of that is just cleanability. So there's nowhere for germs or dirt or debris. Um, and that skirted base too, just really easy to clean. And then the colors? So you can get Kohler toilets in a variety of different colors. This one's shown here in biscuit, in a gray, or um, you know, in our standard white. And I know you're showing, this is the comfort height with the elongated seats. Um, I often, you know, not often, um, sometimes I get um, a very small space where yep. I'm going to need a round bowl. So do they come in those options as well? Yeah, so all of these are shown in a comfort height, which is pretty much today's standard, I would say, for the average tall adult um, in an elongated seat, which just is a little bit more comfortable. But you can do a few of our toilets still in a round front if you have those tighter spaces, or you can always do a wall mount toilet where you really save a lot of space too. Okay. And then I see that the um, flush mechanism is on top on this one. Yeah, so this would be considered a dual flush actuator compared to just a standard trip lever. Mm -hmm. You can do this with that um, or with a trip lever on the side, whichever you prefer. This is just a little sleeker cleaner, dual flush. Um, you have water savings as well as if you want the standard trip lever, you could choose that as well. And let's just say I'm doing a bathroom with matte black. Could I get the trip lever in matte black? Absolutely. Most of our toilets you can match to your faucet okay. finish. Um, it just depends on the toilet. Okay. Also, Janine, the old difference with like the two piece and the one piece, obviously the two piece is like more cost effective, but I find yeah. that a lot of people who are doing maybe like a new remodel like the one piece because mm -hmm. the one piece you're going to have less I agree. of like, you know, mm -hmm. any, any dirt and grime getting right in the middle. Plus it's just a sleek modern look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's move along to faucets because we have a lot of really new fun stuff there, Kelly, that I'm dying to show you. Yes. So and I'm going to jump back in here really quick because I just realized something. <laughs> we are in the middle of COVID, and I want you to know that we are aware of that. And we all, every person that's in this building today, took a test. We are all COVID free. That's why we don't have our masks. But I do want you to know that we um, were very uh, cautious about that this morning. What's going to happen next? So we're going to show a quick little video while we move over our cameras and we talk to the girls really quick. I'm going to have them um, adjust their volume and we're going to move on to faucets. So Fred, if you can roll the next film, we'll be with you in just a minute. I can do myself, Dad. Oh, okay. Start Simone's shower routine. Oh, shoot. 
Enjoy the confidence of a touchless <laughs> clean with a Kohler Smart Bathroom. A little bit more, not at the camera, but a little more facing, facing too much back. Up. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. You're going to go where, right here? Um, we're going to go actually, yeah, right here. Uh, I think here. Yeah, no back to the camera. That's what I've always, yeah, I know. I think you guys get a, oh yeah, yeah, that's why they're doing that. Do you need me to talk louder? Okay, we're back. So faucets, we've got this beautiful new display at the Bath and Kitchen Showplace. So it's lit and you can really see all the new fun features and finishes. Finishes, I feel like um, matte black and gold. I get asked every day, what can I get in matte black and gold? So um, we have our new parallel collection in matte black and then also purist in our new modern brass, brass finish. And the nice thing about this afternoon is like it, it seems to be like on trend. Mm -hmm. So everyone in the showroom, they're always wanting black and, and gold. So very nice option. And I like that the parallel has like more of a square um, second. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of so that Square here. Modern. Square shower head yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of has um, like all the, everything that matches. And I think the um, black is so popular right now, but it's gold, but it's soft. It's a soft black because it's matte. Um, and I'm just getting tons of requests for it. Um, the purest comes in matte black as well. You can do purest in matte black as well. And okay. purest is probably one of my top selling collections. Um, I think I see it like nine times out of 10 on house or done by any designer in black. And then um, handle wise too, you have different options. So this is shown with a cross, but you can also do it with a lever. So this would be the cross and then this would be a and that's the your lever. lever. That you could replace. Okay. Yep. And then um, also I'm noticing that the single function shower head does it come in a multi yeah so single function um you know you can definitely do but then if you want more spray features you can do a multi-function shower head or hand shower we show the multi-function here so you have a tab to kind of go to those different sprays and then um wall mount too so this would be considered a, a three hole widespread faucet mm -hmm. we have single controls and then also wall mount options here as well I mean, do you find that maybe, um, you know, someone that has a busy household, kids, you find that maybe like a one control, is there a lot of options for one control? Absolutely. I definitely specify the single control faucets anytime I'm doing like a kid's bathroom or just ease of use. You can, you have one hand, you're not having to mix that hot and cold. So that's a great option for that. Mm -hmm. Also, I find that um, whenever people are doing the renovation, they can actually pick and choose whatever shower head they want. So the rain head, the shower head. Absolutely. What their you know function is on their bathrooms and how many people are living in there. So yeah, so you can mix and match really anything you see here. So if you see this and you like it, but maybe you want to add the square shower head, you can you can do that. And I think that's the beauty of Kohler that we have so much to offer. Um, since this is new, I'm not familiar with it. Can you explain what this is here? So this is parallel, and okay. yes, I knew you would love it because it's contemporary and you've got that square. Um, sleek, clean lines. And then this is your diverter. So traditional tub spout down here, you know, you would okay. pull to divert to your tub where this is sleek and hidden and you divert like that. I love that. I've never seen that before. So this is I almost didn't even know it's there. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that's the point today. Uh, could you just go down the line here? So here we have an oil rub bronze finish. Really that's well. oil rub bronze in the Devonshire collection. On the end, you have matte black again, because really right now you cannot get too much matte black. Yeah. And then here we show the Bancroft in chrome. Okay. Fresh nickel matte black. Fresh nickel matte black. And then this is black. actually not called gold. It's called a blush modern brass. Modern br brush brass. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's our, t our our new gold finish. I feel like it's very on trend with different lighting and hardware and things that we're, you know, seeing in the market. Another neutral. I know people don't think of it. We can't hear you guys. Speak up. Oh, hey, uh, okay. well, our hair. <laughs> oh, good. You can hear me. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I never have a problem being loud. So um, we'll take you down and show you a few new collections that are really fun because there are mix and match collections. Wait, so, wait, what, oh, we want to stop. This? So this is brush bronze. bronze. This is okay. a great solution for someone that, you know, doesn't want to commit to something that's really bold and gold, but still has those gold hues. Okay. And also the, the French gold, which is kind of really nice mm -hmm. as well. I mean, it has the beautiful feet. And that's kind of, it's like a nice neutral piece to a client who's maybe doing something else with a lot of more color. This is a nice option. And that's yeah. polished and that's a brush. And this is a brush, okay. yeah. This is our new titanium finish on the composed collection. And then those two that I alluded to would be 
artifacts and composed or artifacts and components. So the really neat thing about these two collections oh. is that you can mix and match. So uh, you pick your spout, pick your handle, and then pick your finish. So you I can create that. that custom faucet. Um, really great solution if you're doing a whole home remodel where, you know, one bathroom you might want. Oh, good. Kelly's going to play with it. So yeah. she's got our bell spout so with our the, lever handle. Yeah, the standard size lever handle. So you can be a little bit closer because I want to have the folks There you go. Go be Vanna for us. <laughs> yeah, <it will> be. <laughs> so the nice thing about the artifact is you're able to take those things like your spouse. So the client can come in and pick out maybe a different color, you know, for nickel, this is color people. But the nice thing about this is that um, you're able to customize uh, with the different handles. And if you want to yeah. Down. And then that one looks really cool. So this one, by the way, is brand new. It actually comes in regular uh, Phoenix like that, or it comes in the Calacara or the Nero Martina. So it's very pretty. Uh, and also the Nero Martina is in the 60 piece. So it's really customizable, especially if you're doing like a Calacara, you know, a uh, or countertop. This just has kind of play with that. Do you ever see people mix and match with their shower heads in their pockets? Yes, that's mm -hmm. more like preference. You know, some designers maybe want to like, yeah, I'm mixing finishes, mix, mixing styles now. Um, having a little bit fun in the shower, a lot more. Um, like like you said earlier, a rain head doesn't necessarily match the suite, but we'll do a rain head and then match the um, the handheld mm -hmm. to it. So there's different ways we're mixing and matching, and and also with the finishes too. And I love I'm loving this cross metal too. Yeah. Fun. I'm wondering what the name of this is, Janine. What was that? This that's shown in polished nickel, and you can see compared to yeah, chrome. The name of the handle here? Oh, that's our lever. swing lever. Okay. A little bit more warmth than like a traditional chrome, which is nice as well. I would think that would be really good too if you've got all the really It's very easy to to turn and kind of manipulate. So um, these two collections for us, I would say, are complete home runs. I mean, everyone's loving that you kind of mix and play and create your own custom faucet. Yeah. Um, why do they say something too? Is this so? This is the component line. This is artifacts, and this is components. So it's kind of a more traditional and a more contemporary spin on on this mix and match. Let's, let's hold up these handles because these are fun. Yep, this is they maybe are. this one here. Yeah. Um, Good, and that's the purpose of this display. We really want you to be able to come in with a client, mix and match, and really create so something that they kind love. Of giving you that industrial look, oh. and these just kind of twist, right? I mean, yep. So, and then the, the spout as well, there's a couple of different ones, but there's this one that's a little bit more like um, contemporary, and then there's the crown spout. And then your row. Yeah. So, um, and then the cool thing is that about these handles is that whatever handle they choose, if you kind of want to maybe do the same thing in the shower, so the shower is going to kind of turn it on and off, and the crown will look like this. Going to use the matching to whatever finish we want. Yeah. Which is really nice. And then this is this is really cool. Yeah. I like I the really, texture on it too. It. And this on the wall is really nice. That knurling detail I feel like mm -hmm. is just really fun. Mm -hmm. And this would be in the polished chrome. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. shown in polished chrome, but you can do it um, in in matte black as well, of course. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. it's it, yeah right? it's like shining with That's these lights. <laughs> uh, the viewers, real quick, the difference between pillars and forges is a polished nickel versus a polished chrome. Mm -hmm. So you can see that difference over there. And also here's another it's example elegant. the brush nickel. You know, like maybe if a client, you know, that we don't want to touch and you know fingerprint. Uh, means the fingerprint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Still so gotta touch it. something that um it's just easy. There's mm -hmm. there's not a lot of maintenance on it. But I will say this becomes like your little jewelry of the bathroom. So people like polish. Yeah. yeah. They're happy to shine it up. <laughs> To get this because this is really pretty. We have a, a fun little video. Can we uh, skip to that video? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know. I can't hear you. I know. Thank you for stopping me. I'm like, slow <laughs> down. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. The best. Okay. Close to them. Okay. Do you want to be next to me for a bit then? As much as I really don't want.
accessory? Yeah, complete solution. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Oh, but then I'm. Oh wait, no. Switch. No. You come with me. Yeah, and then my back. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still getting organized. We're in a new spot. <laughs> well, Kelly really wanted us to stop here because I think you said, Kelly, that's one of the things you love about specifying Kohler is that we really have the complete solution. So these are some accessories mm -hmm. that go with each of the collections mm -hmm. and just make it, you know, really easy to uh, make it all make sense in the bathroom. Yeah. These are the items that people do. What I find want to coordinate absolutely, yeah, with the um, to match the faucets. So um, they're all and they all and the, the suites all offer something unique. So I'm loving this. I'm not sure if this is called like a carousel. But yeah, it's it. our toilet paper carriage that goes okay. along with that artifacts collection that we talked about. Okay. Um, you know, over here. But yeah, each is going to have different things like rope hooks and hardware and um, uh, what else? Towel lighting. bars. Even yep. Lighting, mm -hmm. lighting as well. So, um, is this a grab bar? That is a grab bar too. So if you need those, I mean, really, we have it all from faucets, to toilets, to bathing, everything you're going to need to specify in the bathroom or kitchen for your remodel, Kohler has. You know how you mentioned that designers don't want to match everything? This is where I feel like a lot of clients feel a little comfortable that maybe once they pick their collection, it's like, well, I don't like the the towel rows, mm -hmm. the rope hooks or whatever, whatnot. So they're able to select something else to make it pop. Yeah. Which is our big one, by the way. Yeah. Because yeah. they want them to hold they're nicely. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so maybe they'll match like the finishes and then the collection. So that's a big thing for our clients. Yeah, I would we definitely also agree. also offer hardware, is that correct? Mm -hmm. so, to make it really pull. easy. Knobs, pulls, um, and like you said, lighting now too. Yeah. Okay. So right behind you is our beautiful new shower display, which I think does a really nice job of kind of showing you that you don't need to just have, you know, all of this trim in the bathroom, but this shows some of our digital showering options. And when I say digital, there's a digital valve behind the wall, and this is all that you're going to see from the outside. So this is DTV Plus. That's the interface that controls everything from water to steam to lighting and um, really just cleans up the space. So no need for a trim and a valve behind nope. it. Nope. Behind it is your valve. Behind here. Think of like a computer behind the okay. wall. But from the outside, all you see is where the water comes out and then this beautiful touchscreen interface. So there's not going to be no major trends that you said on the wall. Mm -hmm. It's very clean. So the client from here is able to add speakers. They're able to add maybe a rain head, shower head, and mm -hmm. everything is going to be connected with the TV. And the cool thing about this is that you're able to have up to six different items in there. Okay. From three. So there's a couple of options. But the nice thing is you're able to have six different options and um, things in your shower. Does this come off or just stay? No, it stays. So okay. you're actually able to install that in the shower or outside of the shower. Um, okay. And you're, you can have like up to what, six presets? Mm -hmm. Six for? preset user settings. And you can now integrate it with your phone too. So app enabled. Kohler really is kind of, I feel like, ahead of the times with technology. And in the bathroom, having the ability to turn your shower on from the click of a button of your phone. And, you know, some of the, like, from a lot of our clients right now, they are asking for steam. Yeah. And I feel like that is, like, a really mm -hmm. great upsell and to the client. It just has so much benefit. So it's kind of like a, you know, a spa experience in your bathroom. You can see that down there. Um, so there. this is a little steam head. And this also has the aromatherapy. So you're able to add like the oils in there as well for um, beautiful set in the bathroom. And really what you need is um, there's a couple of ways of setting the steam in the bathroom. Um, but, you know, you're able to help with your health, um, skin, mm -hmm. you know, kind of everything. Skin, overall well-being and health and wellness is so important right now. So creating kind of that spa-like feel in your bathroom, I feel like, is what clients want. And also with this whole COVID time, like I feel like having a steam head in the bathroom is kind of like 
can go maybe to the spa, but why not bring the spa to your home? Exactly. So one okay. thing I think you need to keep in mind when you're doing steam bathroom is I believe the shower um, glass needs to be to the ceiling. Yes. Yep. Right. That's yeah. the only thing. Um, and we also sell showers or the spa, so we can, you know, specify that or okay. talk to the contractor, make sure that the measurements are right to get. So we just do that. And then this is the new hand shower. Yeah, Lendy's holding a hand shower, and I think this is probably one of the top things I specify when someone's remodeling a bathroom is a hand shower. So going from just Thank having you. a standard dock shower head and now being able to uh, take a body shower or wash the dog or clean the shower, hand shower is a great solution oh, yeah. for that. I'm always checking in hand showers. Now, most of the time I'm doing them on a, on a um, slide bar like this yeah. one here. Yeah, so that's our hydro rail. Um, okay. And if you actually pull that little piece there, okay. you can move it up and down. So if you have different um, height, users you can <laughs> you can move it down um and also that nice spray face that's really easy to clean also rain head is another thing i like to think about so not only just having a shower head a hand shower but also a rain head so you can really change that experience and um, again bring that spot to you and then anytime that you're having more than one function you can need a diverter so you need to add um let's say you're having a rain head shower head or a hand shower you are able to add all of that. Um, you do need a diverter, so you need, um, you can have three. Since they're in California, since it's California compliant, you should do one at a time. And where's it? the diverter is on this one? Is so right this one, for here? example, has the slide bar, so it has it all in one. So this is great for a easy fixer upper, uh, you know, remodel. Um, because you would only be having this for the rain uh, sh shower arm connection. It doesn't have a hole anywhere else. So this already has a diverted easy slide bar. I mean, sh um, uh, so maybe mm -hmm. there. Yep. So, and then you're able to have either shower head or and there's also slide bars that have connections for um, rain head, mm -hmm. hydro oil, which mm -hmm. is the best thing that was made <laughs> because it's a uh, Easy, easy, easy for you to remodel into yeah. having a rain head, shower head. You're not changing any of that plumbing mm -hmm. behind the wall. So it brings the cost of the overall project down. So. And I also noticed that's a really large um, rain head. Mm -hmm. And so that bar comes out nice and yeah. um, far, from the the wall. far from the wall. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to say thank yeah. you. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have, you can do a, like more of like an eight inch rain head mm -hmm. if you wanted to mm -hmm. on a smaller arm. As eight well. inch, 10 inch, or you can come straight from the eight ceiling too, depending on the space. Okay. There's so. a lot of options, you know, it's all getting, you know, everything to be easy for the client, also asking the client, like, how they use the shower, how many people use the shower, cats keeping it very clean, or just, you know, able to have up to six items, so, yeah, basically would be, like, your option. Yeah. I was working on tech, the middle stuff. Uh, oh. Those are body sprays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Body sprays, and then up at the top here we have our sound tile. So really integrating, you know, sound, music. I'm gonna, um, it's gonna be a little sloppy, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm gonna take a quick peek. So that that thing up top. Here's our sound that tile. Sound. So there's speakers within the wall or within the ceiling, and they're really, really great sound quality. So again, just I mean, making that spa feeling in your bathroom. I can't stress it enough, but that's what everyone's asking mm -hmm. for, and I think it's it's really important. Party in the bathroom. Yeah, party in the toilet, party in the bathroom. <laughs> so we talked a lot about uh, bathroom, but now let's go over to kitchen. Okay. Sound good?
Hey, hey. so we're in the kitchen. Um, so first and foremost, a big trend this year is apron front sinks and cast iron. So Kohler is really known for our enameled cast iron and it's extremely durable. So guaranteed not to chip, crack, or burn for the lifetime of the product. I always tell Lenny, you can literally take a frying pan and throw it into the sink and you're gonna damage your frying pan before you damage the sink. So this is the White Haven. You can see some of the variety of colors that our cast iron is available in. And then also our new Iron Ridge. So this is a playful spin, a little bit more contemporary design on a traditional White Haven. Loving this. Good. Um, gives you that nice big, sink basin area too so whether you're you know washing dishes small dog again or a baby you've got a nice um, surface area there and then of course paired with our new crew faucet in none other than brass okay. so brass okay. in the kitchen brass is back and then we have artifacts here in polished nickel okay you notice how there is just such a nice wide size um obviously uh, our wife is in a current summer yep this is being so new it's a very hot hot item it's doing um, really, really well. People love the spacing of it and the width of it. It's nice, big size. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing the sink. I'm in love with it. I Good. love the soft lines on it here. How it yep. comes out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, my concern is very large, so sometimes I have smaller sink space. Mm -hmm. Does it come in different sizes? Yeah, you have different sizes, and I think from an install perspective, the great thing about both of these is that they have this self-trimming feature, so your contractors will love you that actually slides in and conceals that front of the cabinet. So installation, I mean, obviously looking at it, I feel like it's beautiful. You've got kind of that um, rippled cast iron on the front. And then I also like to talk about the offset drain here. So with the drain not being right in the center, you have um, more basin space to put, you know, a big pan of pasta down yeah. or a small baby or whatever you're doing in the sink. So we've done that on a few of our single basin sinks. And I'm seeing a trend towards single basin versus uh, two double, like a double sink, so. This is where I, I kind of ask questions that were like, hey, how do you cook? You know, what's like a plan? How, how, you know, do you use a lot of pans? Mm -hmm. Because someone who's using a double may benefit from being used to maybe having dirty dishes on one side, yeah. not on the other. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about having a one space is like, I have a lot of clients who just want one big space, depending on the size of the cabinet. Yeah, it's so funny, but people get really kind of um, comfortable with the, the double, double sinks. Yeah, and I feel like they want to they want to lean towards the farm, but they want those double sinks. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, and whenever I run into that, which I do, I um, suggest the lower um, the smart divide. Yeah, divide. yeah. I, I don't know. You can tell me which sinks offer that. You can do that on Whitehaven. I kind of right. consider it like yeah, like training wheels for someone that still can't get away from having that double basin. They still want that divide. But then you can still put a big pot yeah. down, have the handle not kind of be tilted up, and it's a great solution. Right. So. And then I love, I'm loving the cast iron and the colors they come in because it just has that luster to it. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of glammy a little bit to me and it's beautiful. And I love I cast iron. I a lot of natural um, materials. There's a color, I think it's called June up here, mm -hmm. that, that complements natural materials really well. Absolutely, June's really luster, popular. Since we're, you know, we have a polished, beautiful white haven. Wanted mm -hmm. to chat about the new rock, which is in Oh yeah, you know, these are some so of the popular. That we're kind of mentioning, they all come in a matte finish. Mm -hmm. So if anyone who's looking for maybe something like everything's kind of matte, a countertop, maybe like a concrete countertop, mm -hmm. this is a nice option. And yeah, we come in different sizes and different finishes. Mm -hmm. Configuration. So that's our new Neo Rock. This is the Karen sink um, shown here. You can see the variety of different colors, but again, extremely um, durable and just another great solution. Bring them up closer. So the nice thing about Kohler, since you know, like uh, the cast iron, they come in different finishes, so this is great. Um, and it gives you a nice little option. So, so I think these are scratch resistant, stain resistant, the magic eraser. <laughs> they clean really easy. Really, so really I durable. On these are really low, and I think this is why people are really loving it and gravitating towards yeah. it. I think too, you know, think of a kitchen sink being stainless steel or white. But what's fun about um, not only cast iron but Neo Rock is that maybe you're wanting that sink not to pop out, mm -hmm. and you want it to blend into the countertop. Yeah. So you mentioned like a 
concrete countertop yeah. or Carrera marble. So you're wanting it to blend and become more of the space rather than standing out. Absolutely. And that's a perfect option. And I and that sink also comes in a low divide and mm -hmm. double bowl. Whitehaven, you can do both. Um, and then, you know, moving along here to our third kind of material for kitchen sinks would be stainless steel. So behind Kelly is <laughs> our new Taylor kitchen sink again with the apron. So I can't uh, stress it enough that apron is just really on trend. Um, with the Taylor, it gives you kind of a neat option to do different stone inserts. You can do tile. Um, this one's shown with uh, just a single bowl again. So how does but this work? So there's a tray piece behind it. And then you can see here we have some. Oh, okay. Oh, these are the. These are some of our custom solutions, but then you can pick, you know, the tile that you're using on your backsplash or maybe the countertop or a stone insert and really make a custom design. Mm -hmm. Did you notice how it has like suspected more modern look, mm -hmm. you know, for that client who's looking for still apron, but yep. maybe not as traditional as yeah. the and Yep. Mm -hmm. And if they're looking to customize it too with a backsplash. Mm -hmm. I think it's really fun. And then you can do this one in black as well, or there's that etched version you can do in white. So lots of different really fun options. Um, and this is paired with our new Ombre Sensate kitchen faucet. So Ombre in a faucet. Ombre has been a hair trend prior, but now here we are in the plumbing space. So it kind of makes that transition between two colors. And the Sensate was one of our first touchless kitchen faucets to launch. So as long as that handle is in the on and actuated position, you just simply swipe underneath the neck and it turns on and off. So again, less touch points, less germs, especially right now, or you know, you're prepping chicken or things like that. But touchless is a great option. Does it require a battery is required for that? So ours is AC powered. So as long as you've got a plug under there, most people do for you know garbage disposal, it's pretty easy install. I will okay. say here in the showroom, that one is a nice, um, very popular. Yeah. Um, because it's so sleek and modern, the handle as well, people are big on the handle. Um, but also the nice thing about Holder, you maybe want to talk about it. There's so many options now, like connect and voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have touchless and kind of one step up from there would be with connect. So that voice command capability. So asking, you know, Alexa, please tell Kohler to turn on my kitchen faucet or pour six ounces. So that water metering, oh, wow. voice control, kind of taking it a step up from touchless. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of choose. We have that touchless technology available on a variety of our kitchen faucets now too. Like crew, you can do it on okay. Sensate. And there's a few more too. I want to so. ask you before we um, move on. Um, um, a lot of times I'm doing a big island and I'm doing a bar sink or a veggie sink in the island and they want to match the faucet with the veggie sink faucet, which is a smaller, more, you mm -hmm. know, a smaller version of that. Do most of these faucets come in a bar? Most of our faucets lines have a matching, you know, soap dispenser okay. or pot filler or yeah, smaller faucet or a smaller version it just depends on the line. Um, and then, you know, at the end there too, we can walk over and talk a little bit about a semi-professional faucet as well as our new prolific sink. Mm -hmm. So this is really, I, I know Kelly just used thing. this on a project. I love this right? thing. <laughs> um, I'm doing it with two kitchens right now and I'm holding this because you don't get, you, don't, you can't really tell how substantial the pieces are in the sink. And I um, wish you guys could get um, a shot of the sink when we're done, Nicole. Cole needs to, to come show, up here again. To show what we're looking at. Um, so it comes with all of these it? accessories. Yeah, so this thing, Wendy it's stainless steel. Up. It comes with everything that the girls are holding here so that you can really use the space to prep and cut and chop and wash and everything that you're doing kind of at that space. Um, and then we pair it with our Simply Semi-Pro faucet. So this pro style, really chef-inspired industrial look which is kind of fun and show, you can see it up there how mm -hmm. pretty it is in that black as well that it's a be. different style but well, what i love about the sink is that um if a client i feel like it's all about how fast can i cook how easy can i get home make dinner you know this is a great way because you're going to chop your um your veggies you're going to drain your veggies here you're going to um, put fruit. your your fruit mm -hmm, and then you put your um, dishes here to dry so it's very convenient and then, you know, maybe you're having guests come over. You don't have to have everything display, but it does come with all these great options and they're seems like a very nice dirty interior. Yeah, I'm I'm just loving this thing so much. And it these all all of them come automatically with this mm -hmm. thing. So I know and I you probably can't tell from from there, but 
they had little ridges on it back in here. So when you put these in, they go in really easy to sit on that ridge and they stay in place. So I'm like obsessed with this. I think it's great point. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Very great. Point. Great one handed. Great price point. And another thing too is like in three years, can they buy another one of these? Absolutely. Yeah. And I was gonna say that if you have um, space for the larger size, you can actually order another cutting board and then just really extend that prep workspace area. So that's some of the new fun stuff from Kohler in the kitchen. And um, now I'd like to turn it over to Jack, who's going to give us some tips and tricks for hiring a contractor. If your customers are asking for a strong, durable, timeless okay. kitchen sink, then Kohler cast iron is So we've got, uh, I wanted to show you a few Even new faucets too up here on the top. We've got the Turnot Semi-Pro on the right-hand side, iron. moving along to the Purist in Matte Black Semi-Pro. Um, and then Kelly mentioned that, you know, when you're going to have a kitchen faucet, you might have a bar or prep area. So this faucet goes along with the artifacts that I showed you over here within that same kitchen space, but a little bit different handle style still goes along with the collection, but you can kind of, you know, have that cohesive um, design. Did so, they take that gold one down? Are they, are they removable? I don't think oh. they come down very <laughs> easily. But that. yeah, this is a great point to, to point out that, you know, something like this that we've been talking about would just be like a standard pull down kitchen faucet. Um, and then what's also pretty popular is a bridge style. So you actually have this bridge piece, two holes. And I think it's a play on like that modern farmhouse. Um, I don't know. Do you see people wanting bridge faucets? Yes. You mean also, you know, you can always on a bridge faucet, you can add the advanced uh, side, side spray. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's easy for someone oh, that yeah. maybe wants to some people. They, know, they all want the pull out spray, pull down. So you're able to add that to the accessories that we um, yeah, something I like to talk about too when it comes to pull down kitchen faucet is this ball joint swivel at the top. So we call this promotion technology and also docknetic. So see how it docks right back in place. You're never going to have like that dangling spray head, which everybody I feel like um, in the design community drives us crazy. Um, and then also different sprays. So whether you're using your standard kind of stream spray over to sweep spray yeah so you have okay. a toggle and then also a boost function too so if you're filling you know the brita or filling a pot of water to boil some pasta you can boost the water to fill that pot faster janine i noticed that there's a lot of options that you have for um, um the, the, the the coil mm -hmm. so now instead of just doing the coil because maybe someone wants to have that industrial look you're able to also just do the whole metal too, mm -hmm. so that's Really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think another one that I can show um, would be the grays. Let me. I can bring it over here. No, unless we're good on time. Okay. It's heavy, but oh my goodness, it is. But it's okay. Oh yeah, that's a that's a great display. <laughs> but this kind of shows you. So this is nice. It kind of comes in everything that you're asking for. Yeah. This is new too. I know okay. you haven't, haven't seen, seen it. This. this is great. And I think that square base is really fun and different in the kitchen, a little bit unexpected. And it can really go contemporary, transitional. It can really work with any space. And of course, in that black. But yeah, that progression of size. You might have this at your main sink, uh, this in the laundry, and then maybe the, the other one at the bar. And since that has a little bar going across, how does that dock? So it's a really strong metal, okay. so you can use it as a pull down or use it in the docked position, you know, just a random, okay. just wash your hands. This is also available in uh, touchless. You can do grays and touchless as well. So on this center one here, you could do it in the touchless and it'll have that little sensor underneath the neck. So, any questions? I'm loving all the new products. Thank you. Good. It's nice to be able to touch and feel and see them. Awesome. Yeah. So, introducing Jack, tell us some tips and tricks about uh, hiring a contractor. Thank you so much.
If your customers are asking for a strong, durable, timeless kitchen sink, then Kohler Cast Iron is their answer. Even an aluminum fry pan doesn't stand a chance against the strength of Kohler Cast Iron. If your customers are asking for a strong, durable, timeless kitchen sink, then Kohler Cast Iron is their answer. Even an aluminum fry pan doesn't stand a chance against the strength of Kohler Cast Iron. Hey, we're live and I'm getting Jack set up on the, are we on mute? <laughs> I've got Jack set here up on the mic now so he can introduce himself. As I mentioned, he is, well, he, Classic Home Improvements and Kohler are the sponsors of today's event. Um, they are the ones who are uh, providing us all the equipment, all of the time, all of the resources that we need to bring um, Kohler home to you. So I asked him to come in here before we go and just um, help homeowners understand. So you, you've got a couple of options if you want to remodel. Obviously, you can do a DIY. If you want to do a DIY, come to a, a family-owned or a privately-owned company here in San Diego, like the Bath and Kitchen Showplace. If you want to, um, to remodel your, your kitchen and your bathroom and you don't want to do it yourself, um, Jack's going to go ahead and he's going to share with you some tips on um, how to find the right contractor. What services do you need? Um, so Jack, he's my husband, by the way. <laughs> um, go ahead and share with the folks um, kind of your tips on hiring a contractor. So hello, everybody. First of all, um, thanks for watching. I want to thank everybody for being here. You got a real interactive showroom experience. Um, so you could see in real time what you would really see in a showroom. I want to thank Kitchen and Bath Showplace for sponsoring us so you could see it in a real kind of way. What I'm here to talk a little bit about, and I'm very proud to sponsor this, is to talk about you've seen all this, you've seen all the pretty stuff, and now you want to do a kitchen so or a bathroom. So how do I get it built? We get that asked that all the time. And I will tell you there's probably, we discussed DI, doing it yourself, so that's always an option. You can try doing that. But what if the project's bigger and you want to do something? Well, there's basically three kind of ways to handle it. In California, you have to have a licensed contractor. It's the rules. If it's over $500, it's a rule that you need to get someone licensed in their trade. It's also, by the way, a very good idea because we're talking about plumbing and water and one wrong move and you could ruin your whole floor and a new faucet could all of a sudden be a $100,000 faucet. You don't want that. So who do you choose? Well, it really depends on the services you need because you have to pay for the services that are being provided. So if it's just a faucet, maybe you wanna hire a plumber. You wanna make sure that it's a licensed plumber. You don't wanna hire a tile setter to put in your plumbing while he's doing the backsplash. You want a plumber to do the plumbing, you want a tile setter to do the tile. So for small projects, sometimes that works. The downside of that is you have to interview them, you have to try and get them to show up, you have to manage their work and make sure that everybody does what they're supposed to do. If you don't want to do that and you've got maybe a kitchen, but nothing is moving around, no walls, no windows are changing, you could use a kitchen and bath contractor. They're typically general contractors, but they're very familiar with how to do a kitchen or how to do a bath. So you could get them and they can replace your cabinets and your, and your tile and your plumber. They're going to bring all the different licensed people in. You don't have to do that yourself, but you can use them. But what if your project's bigger? And it seems like projects are getting bigger and bigger all the time. You want to knock out a wall. Everyone says open concept. If you've ever watched HGTV, you say open concept. What if you want to push the, you've got some room on the side of your yard you never use and you want to make your kitchen bigger. That happens all the time. You have an old house with a galley kitchen. Kitchens are much bigger than they used to be. In cases like that, you need to really consider using a general contractor. And in a lot of cases, you want to use a design build contractor. So you could hire an architect, you could find an engineer, you could do the drawings, you could try to get your own permit and then try and get all those people to do that. That's gonna take you about a year and a lot of pain and anguish or you could hire a design build contractor. Of course, I'm a little partial because I'm a design build contractor, but I'll tell you what the services that they provide is you're gonna get the blueprints, the plans, you're gonna get an interior designer to help you match all the colors. Look at everything we talked about today. They can help you with all that. But then when it's all done and as you're building it, your contractor can tell you how much things cost. And those estimates are meaningful because if I tell you it costs that much and I'm your builder, I have to do it for that. So now you know as you're designing, you've got full transparency into the cost 
and before you start, you know how much things cost. So that would be your third option for the bigger projects for sure. So that's just a quick, I mean, obviously I could talk about this for days, but I, I really will say, <laughs> I really can. <laughs> but I would say very quickly, that's kind of the basics on those three types of contractors. If you're not sure and you're wondering who to call, I would suggest the first person you call is Nicole. Nicole talks to all three of those types of contractors every day and can refer you to a couple people to talk to to help you figure out what's going to be best for you. So once again, I'd like to say thank you to Nicole. This is a lot more effort than you realize. I want to say <laughs> thank you to Kohler and Janine. I want to say thank you to um, Kitchen and Bath Showroom for helping co-sponsoring this with us. And most of all, I want to thank all of you for showing up and listening in. Appreciate so thank you. Guys. you. Bye.